Now for this part, we're told to show that this integral, 2 sine 2x over 1 plus cos x, integrated with respect to x, is equal to 4 times the natural log of 1 plus cos x minus 4 cos x plus a constant k of integration. And remember that x is defined between 0 and pi upon 2 inclusive. And we've got to show this using this substitution u equals 1 plus cos x. So how do we go about something like this? Well first of all we need to put down our integral. We've got 2 sine 2x then all over 1 plus cos x. Now I'm assuming that you're familiar with integration by substitution. If not I've got plenty of tutorials on this on my website. But what we can do is we have got our function of x, let's just copy that down again, 2 sine 2x over 1 plus cos x. In fact, this sine 2x I'm going to change to 2 sine x cos x. should be familiar with the double angle formula, often called sine 2a, which is 2 sine a cos a. So your a is the x in this example. So I'm going to write that 2 down there, we'll just push it over here, that 2 there multiplied by the expansion of sine 2x, which is 2 sine x cos x. And we're going to divide that by 1 plus cos x. And then to get round this problem of changing the variable, as we often call it, into u's, I'm going to change the dx to dx over du. But because I've introduced this du, I'm going to take it out again. It's as if they cancel. Now you can see that we're integrating with respect to u, not with respect to x. So we need to change all of this part here into some function of u. We've got to find dx by du for starters, so let's just do that. We can do that by finding du dx and then reciprocating it. So if we do du dx, differential of 1 is 0, but the differential of cos x is minus sine x. So therefore dx by du must be the reciprocal of this, which is going to be 1 over minus sine x. Okay, so we could put that in there. So we've also got 2 times 2, which is 4. We could pull that out the front of the integral. So that leaves us with sine x cos x all over 1 plus cos x. And then we've got dx du, which is we'll put that in brackets, minus 1 over sine x. And this is integrated with respect to u. Now we've got lots of x's here, but we've still got to get this across to u's. So what do I notice? I notice that this sine x now cancels out with that sine x there. I kind of knew that was going to happen when I expanded this, purely because we seem to be dealing with the angle x, not 2x. So it was worth expanding that at that stage. Now, do you notice that what we've got now can be converted to u's because the denominator here, 1 plus cos x, is simply u. And for this top bit, cos x, if we rearrange this, cos x equals u minus 1. So we can change this totally across to the variable u. Now I'm also going to notice this minus here and pull that, minus 1 if you like, out the front with that 4. So we end up with minus 4 times the integral of now. Cos x, as I said earlier, is u minus 1, so we can have that as u minus 1. And 1 plus cos x is u. So that's going to be all divided by u. And we're integrating this with respect to u. So how do I do an integral like this? Well, we've got two terms on the top, the u 
and then the one and one single term underneath. And so what I could do is divide each of the two terms here by this single term u. So that's going to give us minus 4 times the integral of u over u which is going to be 1 minus 1 over u. So put that in brackets and we integrate that with respect to u. So what is the integral of the 1? Well we know it's u so we can put that in as u. And what's the integral of minus 1 over u? Well that's going to be minus the natural log of u. And normally we put this in mod signs. But knowing that x lies between 0 and pi upon 2, it's an acute angle. When I do the cosine of an acute angle, it will always be positive, And 1 plus another positive number means that u is always going to be positive. So there's no real need to put this in mod signs. So just keep it as the natural log of u then. And then we've got a constant of integration plus c. Now all I need to do is substitute back in for u. And I'll also expand this out. I notice as well that I've got minus 4u plus 4 natural log of u. So I'm going to go for the positive term first. So that would be 4 times the natural log of u. But u is 1 plus cos x. So we can write that in as 1 plus cos x. And then we've got minus 4 times u. So that would be minus 4 times the 1 plus cos x. Okay. And then we've got our constant of integration plus c. So is that the solution that we want? When I look up here, it certainly looks like it. But then we've got this plus k. And we've got our minus 4 cos x if we expand this bracket. But do you notice that what we'll have here is minus 4. And then if I group it with this c, because minus 4 is a constant and c is a constant, if I do c minus 4, it's going to give me another constant, which we might as well call k. So we're one line away from the answer. So I should be able to squeeze it in here then. Hope you can see it. It's 4 times the natural log then of 1 plus cos x. And then I'm going to get minus 4 plus that c, which we'll call k. I'm going to get minus 4 cos x. OK. And then plus k. We could say, if you like, where k equals c minus 4. But I think if you miss that out, I can't see that uh, anyone is going to object. OK. So there you go. That's what we had to show.